And I'm back. Look at that. Feel Frame 2. It's on PS2. Came out in 2003. This is the first Fatal Frame I ever played. I knew nothing about Fatal Frame. It was awesome. <laughs> to put it simply, I thought it was the, the coolest thing. I've never seen a video game, let alone a horror game, like Fatal Frame before. Oh, it went to the thingy. But now we're gonna see it. We're gonna see it. Please don't go into the, to the screen. I know, I know, I know. I need to press the start, start button. Cool. So I have played all of these Fatal Frames. I don't really remember so much of the newest ones, which I hopefully I'll be able to get to them because I actually do have the fourth one. <laughs> it's in Japanese. It has um, fan-made subtitles <laughs> and it's a little broken, but it's good. I absolutely, I don't remember the story of it, but I enjoy, I remember enjoying it immensely, especially with the Wii controls. And I don't own the fifth one, but that one's coming out now, isn't it? Oh, that's what we heard. We heard it's coming out and I cannot wait. That's the entire reason why I'm going through and playing all the fail frames now. I'm sure there's, I think I've seen quite a few other people, a few other streamers playing through the fail frame games. <laughs> because we love it. We love it and we're all for seeing more Fatal Frame. And I really do hope, even though they're just relaunching, stop that, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I, even though they're relaunching the, f I'm playing normal mode, the fifth one again on Switch, I know we're all hoping that it sparks more enthusiasm for bringing out more Fatal Frame games because it's so cool and so unique. Just, and the stories are a lot of fun to play and I can't wait to see. All right, so this is the second one. I'm gonna go through and make sure, I'm, I'm not gonna spoil anything if anyone has never played any of the games. I don't want to, but I do know. <laughs> we always promise each other. I do know the story. <laughs> that we would always be together. Oh, so good. And look at the graphic jump. She lights. <laughs> no. Now my eyes. I used to play here all the time. Yeah. All of this will be gone soon. Is your leg okay? Does it hurt? It doesn't look but I'm fine. Mia? Yes? <laughs> Never mind. About that time back then. Nope. <laughs> she gone. Mayu? No, no. Chasing the butterflies. Mayu! Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> so excited. It's been so long since I've seen this one, even. <laughs> and as I said, since this is the first Fatal Frame I ever played, I have so many memories attached to this one. So great. I think I've said it before in, in my other streams that I'm gonna dig up my photo I did of myself, because I, me and my friend, we dressed up as Mew and Mayu. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, for conventions, I do have my cosplay picture somewhere. Because right? at one point I just took pictures of all my costumes. And I think I do have that one. <laughs> it's a little cringy, but it's cool. <laughs> I enjoyed myself. That's all that matters, you know? Oh, so excited. Oh, look at it. Mayu? <laughs> A lost village. Now I know there are other versions of this game that came out, because I think this one got more people playing it. So I know there was a version that came out on Xbox. I first played it on PS2, because I don't know... Oh, wait. A long time ago, there was a village here that disappeared during a festival. People who get lost in the woods are trapped by the village. Could this be that place? <laughs> Most likely. Can I move? There we go. <laughs> I have to wait for the camera change. Chapter 1, The Lost Village. I need to make sure that's down below so you can see it. Okay. So, I know there's a version of this game that came out on Xbox as well. I don't know if there's... I heard singing before, but there's nobody here. Uh, differences? I think there were like certain special costumes you can unlock. There were the difference. Uh, here's the lantern. The game can be saved here, but I'm not gonna save because I just got here. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I know they released it again. And I've seen the videos of it. It looks awesome. It's so good. They have different voice actors as well. I, I still prefer if it was in Japanese with English subtitles. <laughs> but that's just me. <laughs> um, and that came out on the Wii, I believe. But this is the version I have. <laughs> Maybe one day, eventually, I'll, I'll get one of the other versions. Not Xbox. I don't have an Xbox. I'll get the Wii version at least. So it looks all pretty and awesome. Uh, the statue of garden deities appears to be a carving of twins. There seem to be many statues just like this one throughout the village. Wait, so which way did I come from? <laughs> Cutscene totally turned me around. I think I need to go towards the village. Yeah, I can see this too. Huge talon-like stone pillars are lined up around the giant pedestal rock. Maybe it's some kind of altar. I've been playing a lot of Skyrim on <laughs> my time off, so I'm just like looking at this and I'm like, wow. <laughs> Skyrim? Place I can go into? There should have been a path here under this arch. It's all broken. Oh, so excited. It's so cool to see everything again. I think the last time I replayed this one, I was still in high school, maybe. <laughs> or maybe I, I took the, the year off before I went to college. <laughs> There's something on the ground. Black back. There are several pieces of paper and a photo inside. News clipping. A news clipping from a year ago. The headline reads, Geological Surveyor Missing. Uh, oh, okay. With the start of construction for All God's Dam approaching, Masumi Makimura, 26, a geological surveyor dispatched to the area has gone missing. Mr. Makimura went to the area to investigate the site that would be submerged once the dam was built, but hasn't been heard from for five days. Oh, another clipping. It seems like a follow-up to that other news clipping. Us, uh, yeah. 
the search for Masumi Makimura, 26, the surveyor missing since the 4th of this month, came to a close yesterday. Mr. Makimura had been helping to conduct a geological survey for All God's Dam. As of yesterday, he has been missing for 10 days. Couple. A photo of a man and a woman are attached to the news clipping. You put the news clipping and photo of the couple in your file. Who's is this, I wonder? Who else is here? The Statue of Guardian Deities. Yep. There's gonna be many of those. <laughs> You're gonna see a theme <laughs> in this village. Oh. Who's that? Same thing. <laughs> Where'd you go? Hmm? I wonder if anyone's here. Mm. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> oh. Just remember <laughs> the first time you play in this game and then seeing they're like, oh no. <laughs> this is gonna be a trip. <laughs> oh, oh, I wanted to bring up my camera, but I can't. <laughs> I don't have a camera. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have a choice anymore. <laughs> Mayu! What's wrong? <sighs> now my eyes. <laughs> I don't want to kill anyone. <laughs> No. <laughs> it's still so good. I do have to admit too that what the that? I don't know. voice acting I don't know. Definitely improved. <laughs> Definitely better than the first one where the first one felt a little bit too disjointed. Don't go too far. I'm not gonna try not to. But I gotta investigate. The rope supporting the shelf has broken and the shelf has fallen on the sunken fireplace. I can't I can't pick it up the thingy? Oh, that's why. Woman's notebook one. A page torn from a notebook is near the sunken fireplace. I've heard rumors about the lost village before. Long ago a massacre occurred on the day of a ceremony, and the village was wiped from the map. Twin deity statues in the forest let, uh, lead lost people to the village entrance. Once you pass through the gate, however, you cannot go back. The village eternally relives that night of death. The insane laughter of a woman is said to echo throughout the village. The only survivor of the massacre at the village was a lone woman. Can go in here? Nope. Oh, she's looking at something. I don't have a camera though, <laughs> so if there's ever any like ghost things that pop up, I can't see it. Okay, that's a save point. Woman's notebook too. Sometimes I sense someone passing by the window. He carries a torch and mutters things. He seems to be searching for somebody, but it's not Masumi. 
In the distance, I can hear some kind of sad ceremonial song being sung. They say that this village vanished on the day of a ceremony, and that day is repeated over and over. Indeed. There are some old ornamental objects on the shelf. None of them look especially useful. I like that. <laughs> I, like, I like when characters say that in games. I feel like we're being watched by someone. Probably. <laughs> Please don't say creepy things like that, sister. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I don't think I can handle it. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be anything in the urn. And there are some old kimonos in the chest of drawers. They all look, look like women's kimonos. But I, I love that in... Please move out the way. Move out the way, sister. Move. <laughs> um, in horror games like this, where they have comments like, I can't do anything here. I absolutely adore that. <laughs> it adds personality to the characters as well as like, yeah, no, like you physically can't go into the video game and search around. But the character saying like, yeah, there's nothing here is, is kind of like, oh, cool. Thanks, like they did that for you. It, it just adds another little element. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hope it's not that dark over there. <laughs> it looks like an atrium beyond the lattice. You can see a deck beyond the atrium. <laughs> it looks really dark on my screen. I may have to fix that. I thought I, I fixed, I played with the settings before. Oh, it's you. Oh, I have to return to the title, don't I? Is this is a button? That is a button, but it's not the button I need. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. We'll make do. You say something? <laughs> There's a hangy painting here, but it's so faded you can't even see the color of the flowers. The sliding door of the closet won't open anymore. Maybe it's warped? Probably. Hmm, mysterious lump in the bed. <laughs> a torn notebook page. Oh, that was stuffed into the bedding has fallen out. Someone, anyone, whoever sees this, look for me. I'm trapped in this village. Help me. Miyako Sudo. So that's the... It's probably the ghost of the woman that we see walking around. <laughs> She's calling for us. Let's not worry about that, uh... Human-shaped body underneath the, the bed. <laughs> Um, what you looking at? I do like this one too, this spe specific fatal frame, uh, for the fact because you have the sister with you and she'll like look around and she says all the creepy little things <laughs> because she's very in tune with the spirit world. So she's like, oh, there's someone here. There's someone watching us. <laughs> all that good stuff. <laughs> there's a padlock engraved with a family crest representing Ginger on the door. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sister. I wonder if they if they give you points off or something like that for bumping into your sister. I know in um Silent Hill 2? Yeah. They searching for you. Let's follow the ghost. Uh in Silent Hill 2, if you bump into Maria, I think that's what I've read online. I don't know if that's actually accurate or not. <laughs> I come from the days when all of our guides were uh, in text-based format. <laughs> and there are rumors. Oh, the rumors for playing video games. <laughs> so I don't know if that's true or not. If bump bumping into Maria gave you like a worse ending. Cool. Get it? Because it's cold? I'm sorry. <laughs> I do kind of miss those rumors. <laughs> it's so much easier to fact check <laughs> stuff now. It's like, no, you can't do that. Also, I got this one out of order. <laughs> um, a piece of a memo is on the floor. Masumi, it's me, Miyako. I came to look for you. Let's go home together. Together we can make it. Call for me if you find this. I'll be nearby. Miss you. I wonder yep, you're... if anyone's really here. In a sense. Can I go over here? Oh, it's very dark in this corner. <laughs> I may have to change the settings on my computer. Like the other one was also really dark. But I also don't have a flashlight yet. 
that might change things. Because the darkness is like the, the ambience as well. It looks like an old coal brazier. There's dust inside. It hasn't been used in a long time. So do I go up to the other side then again? Since I got it out of order. I'm, I'm thinking that's what it is. Let's go. Come on, sister. Let's go follow the ghosts. <laughs> Nothing bad will happen with that. <laughs> nope. Yep. I don't know why, and I'm very sorry. <laughs> no, was it this way? And then the camera changed. <laughs> when the camera angle changed, it confused me. Oh, the fact that she keeps looking around. <laughs> the door is slightly ajar. It's with the same like, so you can't open it? Okay. Let's go in. Oh. Camera changed. Strange about this place. Very much so. There's a flashlight on the table. Yay! Flashlight. Camera obscura pointers. An old book is under the flashlight. Okay, so this is this is the thing. This camera was made by Dr. Also to take photographs of beings in the spiritual plane that normally cannot be seen. It can reveal events from the past through the lingering thoughts of individuals. It is also able to photograph spiritual beings that are invisible to the human eye. Taking a photo of an unseen being has an exorcismal effect, but simultaneously creates a sort of link with them. If the camera obscura is used carelessly, these beings may even gain the upper hand on the user. I wonder if I can photograph the site at the heart of this village's forbidden ritual. If Dr. Also were here, I'm sure he would be excited. Seijiro Makabe. Makabe? No, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, no, that's wrong. Uh, it's much older than the flashlight. Seems like it's originally from this house. Ooh. Sound change. It's so good. Oh no, no. What was that? I can believe. So it's true. This thing is too dangerous. The camera obscura. Mio. Is someone here? So you're going to check the door? <laughs> Basic camera operation. The camera obscure is a special camera that allows you to exercise spirits by taking photographs of them. When you face a direction where a spirit is, the filament at the bottom right of the screen or top of the view viewfinder will glow. Once you've located a spirit, raise the camera with the circle button. When you've found a spirit, center it in the viewfinder screen and press the shutter down, X button or the R1 button. So it's the same. Okay, cool. It's the same a control scheme as the first one, so it shouldn't be super difficult because <laughs> I already got used to the other ones, even though it was a little wonky. Uh, okay, tutorial files. Let's see. 
Yeah. It definitely moves... Hi, sister. <laughs> it definitely moves smoother. Okay, so that's good. I'll go open that door in a second. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the ghost can wait. There's something on the floor. Herbal medicine! It's come back. Dude, I had so many secret waters. <laughs> that final boss fight was uh, not that great for the first one. <laughs> like, it was still scary. Like, ooh, I'm sure she would do a lot of damage if you got, she got close enough to me. You tried pulling on the sliding door, but it's broken and won't budge. It's very broken. Look at that. There seems to be a room beyond it. That is a very broken door. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, ghost. What's up? <laughs> I'm like, ghost, fight me. Ooh. Still so good. Hi. Is Are you going to attack me? No, it's it's blue. So when it's blue, like the filament at the top even, it means it's not aggressive. It's gone. Come on, let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. The presence you were feeling in front of the door is gone now. It said, oh, it said you can capture things that ordinary people can't see with this camera. Could this be the power of the camera obscura? Ooh. And I've seen videos of um, the new version of this that came out that has like they revamped all of the little cutscenes so like the models are different the voice actors are different it's so good um and they actually incorporated some of the movements that you do from the fourth game which i actually really like so I, eventually what was i saying uh, oh yeah the i think it's the wii version i keep bumping into the sister she wants me to leave. That's right. The Wii version has elements of how you move in the fourth one. Oh, the door is held shut by some kind of powerful force. Oh no. Mia, look. Ooh. Hi, sister. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's really cool. Um, maybe eventually I will get the version that came out on the Wii of this because of the fact they have uh, mechanics from the fourth one, fourth and fifth one. Oh, I need to take a picture of this. That's right. I'm a little space right now, but I've been kind of tired all day. Then trying to work with issues with with uh, frames dropping earlier, so I'm exhausted with trying to figure that stuff out. But I finished Fatal Frame One, and now I started this one. So I'm just I'm going to at least two hours, get as far as I can, and then I'm going to stop again. But I'll be back on Thursday to finish this or to continue this. This one is longer than the other one. A different place shows in the photo. Oh, I know where that is. It looks like a cold brazier somewhere. Uh, you can view the special photos you've taken from file on the menu. Yeah, eventually I'll get the Wii version. I think it's Wii. I really don't know what system it's on. <laughs> but I have seen uh, other streamers play it, and I'm very interested in the fact since I realized, like, oh, they not only revamp the cutscenes, but they also, like, there's this mechanic in the fourth and fifth ones where you move your hand to the to the item. Ooh, there's something in the door. Thank you, secret water. And I absolutely enjoyed it from the fourth and fifth. So it's so cool that they put it in into this one again. Um, okay. 
So I can't leave because the door is locked. I need to go to the brazier. That's... What was that? Was that upstairs? No. Yes. No. Upstairs is locked. <laughs> this way. This is where the ghost initially led me to... It was in the other direction. Oh no, I'm already getting lost. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> okay, as far as I can. Oh. Oof. Here. Joy. Yep, here it is. Oh, it's so much easier to see the the warbles on the screen for this one. I mean, the graphics are different. <laughs> Something shows in the photo. It looks like an injured man. Don't come near me. Oh! <laughs> oh, I forgot that happens in this one. There's like a bit of a moment before the... Yeah, I can see it at the top in the corner. <laughs> uh, when you take a photo, like... That has to go by, and then it comes back up. Oh, did I just bump into the sister? My bad. Cold, damp wind is blowing in from the atrium. There are lanterns at the back of the garden. They're lit. It's lit. <laughs> okay. No, not into that. I can go through the door now. Let's go back into that other room. Back over here. Oh, oh, that's a wall. <laughs> yeah, through here. I actually kind of know this map a little bit better than the first game, even though this map is way larger. It's open. <laughs> Oop. We're here. Um. Was it here? I mean, that's where it led me, right? Yeah. Same thing. Yeah, you can definitely see more now with the flashlight. Ah, oh, cool. So. Alright. We'll just. Ig okay, I was about to say, ignore the mysterious lump in the floor, but... <laughs> I'm sorry, sister! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! My bad. Okay, does she even remark on the... on the body-sized lump? <laughs> she does not. Oh wait, yeah, there's a lump inside it, as if there's something inside. That's it? Yeah, I'd probably leave it at that as well. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not looking. <laughs> How many times have I played all of Fatal Frame? Uh, that's hard to say, <laughs> but it's it's the this this one is the one I first started playing, so I played it quite a bit. But it's the third one that I absolutely love that I played the most <laughs> because of the fact of um, what happens in the game and how how oh because it's like a dream world and it includes the characters from this one and the first game which i thought was like the coolest it was this it was the so it was so cool i had not seen that in other games really so i'm just like yeah but overall i have no idea how many times i played <laughs> fatal frame yeah the four and five i've played the least though for sure completely maybe just once all the way through and that was it uh, oh ginger design so that's upstairs Oop. So I want to try to get all of these that I can get. It looks like they move a little bit slower than the first game, too. The first game was like, boop, ghost gone. <laughs> yeah, I'm not entirely sure how, how many times I've played these games. I just know I've played them a lot. I think... Oh. Nice. Um, I think this memory card... Doesn't have any data on it, but I think I do have a mem memory card somewhere that has my whole data. I mean, you, you don't really know. 
You really know how many times you played if you save over the same file. And I'm pretty sure I have, you know, for new game pluses or whatever. No! I missed it. <laughs> Bummer. That's okay. Open this. Yeah, I agree. I, I do like the story. I mean, three is only so good because of this one and the first one. But this one definitely has a great story. Oh. Gotcha. Beckoner. Shiny. Ooh, woman's notebook six. How much time has passed since I came here? How long will this night last? I can't take the darkness. It's driving me crazy. I have to get out of here. I have to see Masumi. Masumi? Think in there? There's dust inside. Nope. They can follow the ghost, but I'll look over here first. <laughs> I probably should follow the ghost. Okay. Well, let's follow the ghost. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry I have to bump into you. I know. I know. With your hurt leg and everything. Nope. Shiny. No. Seven. I must be tired. If I start to relax, I pass out, even in a crazy place like this. The darkness here is creeping into my dreams. Excuse me. Slaughter, rivers of blood, fallen people, a woman in a blood-stained kimono, inside, oh, insane laughter, and twin sisters calling out, don't kill me. That woman's laugh is seared into my mind. I don't want to sleep anymore. Whee. Which one scared me the most? Definitely the third one still. If only because... Oh. Oh. Sister, move out of the way! Move out of the way! Oh. She disappeared right behind you. I could have gotten the shot. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, um, Masumi found my note. He was in the village. I can s see him soon. I can't move. I'll wait here. He'll be back. He'll find the way out. If he comes back. He came. Oh no. <laughs> the last part of the memo stops abruptly. She also became trapped here. Does that mean she was the lump in that she came mattress to thing? House looking for her boyfriend. And then where did she go? This place must be in. Why? <gasps> <gasps> He's like, huh? Maya? Why? Oh, in my ear. <laughs> Bring on my camera. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Capturing exercising spirits. You can exercise spirits by taking photographs of them with the camera obscura. Uh, the greater the response indicated on the charge gauge in the capture circle, the greater damage you can inflict on the spirit. When the charge gauge glows red, that instant is a shutter chance. If you can shoot during this instant, the controller is going crazy in my hand right now. <laughs> well, I know how to fight. Okay, um, yeah, heavy damage of the spirit. Repel it further back. Coolies. You must have film to shoot. <laughs> While loading and pressing the shutter button will have no effect. I noticed. Oh, what was the- did it tell me what button it was to change the film? Where are you? Oh, there you were. Hi. No, come back here. Oh. Where are you? Oh, there's a little delay. <gasps> oh, hi. Nope, that wasn't it. Yeah, zero shot. <laughs> and that noise is so perfect. Oh, oh, here we are. Oh, no, 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 no. Did I escape well enough? Oh, no. Keep pressing the button. <laughs> It's different now in this one. <laughs> Very much so. Okay, you're over here. 
Somewhere. Somewhere. Where are you? You're in the wall. Wait, there you are. Hey. Huh? Where are you? Hey, get away from my sister. <laughs> I love that too in this game that the sister can be interacted with as well. <laughs> Here's the warble. Come on, get out of the wall. <laughs> Ooh. I want to try for the for the fatal frame shot, but I'm like, I don't think I'm good enough yet. I have to get used to the controls again. <laughs> like it's more or less the same as the other one. As the first one. Better. <laughs> they will make a Hollywood movie of Fatal Frame, you know? I remember hearing that, actually, quite a while ago. I totally forgot about that, actually. Yeah. Wait, no, I thought it did come out. Did it? I do recall seeing a trailer. <laughs> no, it never goes good. Making movies based off of video games, it's never good. <laughs> Looks like a glowing blue crystal. That spirit must have dropped it. Once you find the spirit stone radio, you, you can use radio on the menu to listen to stones. Spirit orb acquired. Spirit orb are items used to raise the maximum levels of the camera's basic functions or power blends. Use a spirit orb from function upgrades on the camera menu to increase the maximum level of a camera function or power blends. After adding a spirit orb to one of the camera's basic functions or power blends, you can raise its level by using the points you've accumulated through capturing spirits. No, nah, my sister's gone, huh? Oh, here's the radio. Okay, I was, I was about to say, I'm like, where do you get the radio again? Okay, it's right here. Oh, you find an old book on the table. It seems to be about the radio. Through the use of crystals in its circuits, this improved version of crystal radio is able to tune into voices from the spirit world. If a person wears a crystal for a long, long time, their thoughts will remain within, creating a special type of crystal, a spirit stone. According to Dr. Also, the radio can also pick up sounds from the spirit world, indicating feelings and intuitions in a similar manner to the sympathetic phenomenon that occurs between twins. Ooh. There's a skull spread out on the table. It looks like someone was copying something onto it. It's written in ancient characters. You don't know what it says. To the point. Mm. Just looking around real quick. Okay, Folklorist 1. A book about the village was on the old bookshelf. The ceremony master, Mr. Kurosawa, gave me a very warm welcome. The village has no chief. The ceremony master presides over the village. I wonder if this village was founded by people who wanted to preserve their sacred rituals and festivals. Most notable among all gods' folklore is the Gate to Hell, legend that has been passed down for years. It's an archetypal tale of a gate or hole that marks the border to the world of the dead, also called Hades, the underworld, or the netherworld. It is a forbidden place that is feared and hated, but it is also worshipped as well. The idea of hell has been a core belief of humans since ancient times. This village supports the theory that the belief is universal. The forbidden ritual regarding this gate to hell that takes place here is something no one is allowed to see or speak of. Are you talking about it now, though? <laughs> the strict taboo is probably the result of a ceremony concerning the border with hell coming closer to the living world. Villagers lead a simple life. Deep in the mountains, they struggle to forage food for their daily meals. The village has little contact with the outside world. They continue to practice the ways of old, frozen in time. Is there more? Nope. 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 Okay. Just had to double check. It's kind of cool coming back to these games after so many years and like revisiting them and getting a better understanding. <laughs> 
that's true. The first Silent Hill movie was pretty good. I actually really enjoyed it. I was a little sad. I'm like, why can't they have a dad trying to bring back his daughter like in the game? <laughs> like, why does it have to be a mom? I mean, it's fine. It's still good. It's still a good movie. Just I'm like, did they? why did they choose that? That specific thing. Everything else was awesome. Just like, but why that one though? Like, do they, do they not think Guys can't be great dads. <laughs> they want to do everything for their child. I don't know. It just feels weird <laughs> to change it. But it's still pretty, pretty good. The first Silent Hill. I didn't know there's going to be a third one. I know there's a second one and I couldn't, I tried to watch it and I think I turned it off because <laughs> I did not like it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm done. No, no, I'm good. <laughs> I will legit turn off movies if I don't like it. Yeah, for, for, uh, Wait, stick to the game story and not ruin it for Fatal Frame? <laughs> they, have, they have quite a bit to work with for Fatal Frame. If they actually do work with the story, that's the hard part. Mayu! I'm sorry. I have to go. Uh -huh. <laughs> and just leaves her behind. <laughs> Oh. No, I forgot to, you get to be the sister sometimes. Follow the butterflies! Yeah, I know, right? That's what it seems like for Silent Hill, the movie. But it's still good. I still enjoy it. <laughs> Follow the butterflies. <laughs> All the overlapping voices, it's so good. Hi, oh, bright, bright, bright. Oh, it hurts my eyes. Mayu. <laughs> Where the hell did you go? <laughs> I love how she walks down the stairs. <laughs> doop, 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 doop. Ooh, oh, I forgot you do this in this game. Yeah, acquire the slow power blends. Uh, temporarily slows down the movement of the spirit being photographed. Use the triangle button when you've charged one or more spirit power points. While this effect is active, the spirit will move slower and shutter chances will be longer, making the spirit easier to capture. This is especially effective against quick spirits or spirits that are difficult to time. Raising the level of this effect extends its duration. I think I have to... Oh yeah, that one. Require the measure equip functions. A uh, spirit shows HP. When this function is equipped, it shows the remaining HP of the closest spirit in the capture circle in the viewfinder's upper left corner. They really do give you way more um, information in the beginning of this game <laughs> compared to uh, the first one. The first one's like, here you go. Like, oh, here's a little bit of a tutorial, but not much. <laughs> oh, no, not there. Oh, that reminds me, I need to use the radio. Camera. No, it was camera, right? Yes. Yeah, and this is the one where, yeah, this film never runs out. So type 7 film, the weakest film, but you have infinity of it. And that is pretty good. I do remember playing this game a couple of times, and I ended up with just that. <laughs> and it helped me out so much. Um... Oh, I already have it equipped, right? Yeah. And spirit orbs, I have one. And enough to range or accumulation. Let's do range. I think this is the one too, where I never made it and upgraded everything. I think this is the this this game. <laughs> Unless I played it over again. But not in the first go. Oh, radio. Radio, radio, radio. And I need to get to the save point. Ah, two hours. Yeah, I need to get to the save point after this. And then I'll be done for tonight.
without you. I. No. I actually really do like the idea of using the radio. I'm just imagining her because it doesn't look like she has any pockets. <laughs> it's like, here's the camera. I'm just going to carry around the radio right here too. <laughs> oh, and also all the herbs and sacred waters just in my back pocket somewhere. <laughs> the first movies for Resident Evil. Yeah, I do like the first Resident Evil movie a lot. I think I have it on DVD too. <laughs> There's something on the ground. Oh. <gasps> Hi. Oh, I, I didn't. Oh, <laughs> that's so good. Ah. Hi. <laughs> oh, the breathing too. Oh. No, that didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, it didn't do anything either. Oh, I did not know I was gonna have to fight this person so soon. <laughs> no, no, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. No, 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 no. Oh, the thumping. <laughs> Take that. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, where are you? Where'd you go? No, you're still in this vicinity somewhere. In the wall, I'm thinking. Over here? Oop, over here. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh, the movements are so good. We still hold up. Ah! No! No, 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 no. I'm like, whatever works. Such a small space to fight. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, I think you're over. Wait, no, where, where are you? Sneaky. Ah! <laughs> oh no. Where'd you go? <laughs> oh. You're in the wall somewhere. I knew you were. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 I didn't miss. I missed, I missed, I missed. I missed. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Oh, I think I got it. I got it. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> oh, I totally didn't know you had to fight her now. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, the ring girl. I know it's so good. I forgot all about uh, like I knew I was going to fight her. I didn't know it was so soon. Oh, it's so good. Still so good. I am in awe. <laughs> Can I just close that right back up? Nail it in. Let's let's. No, she's a ghost. She can just go get right out of it, like, immediately. <laughs> okay, let me listen to this one, too, so I can save. That's why I came in here, was to save! <laughs> Darkness. 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 Oh yeah, definitely. Going from the first game, finishing that off, and then going to this, the voice acting is much better. <laughs> like, oh, you could definitely feel that. It's like, oh yeah. <laughs> Still kind of wish it was in Japanese, but that's just me. That's just me being a stickler. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm gonna save. I did not expect to have to fight her. <laughs> I'm gonna save, and that'll be it for me. Oh no, it's about to be 8.30. Okay. Is that me? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. There's, there should be no data on this. Not really.